what's up guys and you're all welcome back to my channel yay i've been gone for a while but i'm here now on um, today's video i'll be showing you how to make this lovely beautiful half circle gown if you want to learn how to do that you're gonna have to watch this video to the end now before i jump into this video i'd like to appreciate all of my subscribers i know i've been gone for a while a lot of things has been happening but I'm going to do a separate video on my live updates which is going to be on my second youtube channel so be patient enough by the time i'm done filming that video i'm going to put the link in the description box in any of my videos so that you can go check it out so but i'd like to appreciate all of you my old and new subscribers for sticking by me through all this period thank you very much i appreciate so let's move to this um, video so what you'll be needing for this gown is basically your bodies and also the half circle now in this video i will show you how to draft a half circle skirt we're going to be planning the bottom of the skirt before we move to the top so for the bottom of the skirt you will basically be needing your waist measurement and also you need your waist measurement to get the radius of your skirt so the radius of a cycle skirt is 6.246 you divide that by 2 you have 3.142 so for the radius we have our waist divided by 3.142 so our radius will be equal to 30 divided by 3.142 30 is my waist measurement i divide that by 3.142 and I think I have 9.5. So the radius for this half circle skirt is 9.5. Okay. So now we've gotten the radius. Next, we're going to move to applying the measurements to our pattern. Now, if you're drafting on your fabric, you're going to be folding your fabric the same way I just folded my pattern paper. Okay. So I have my pattern paper, although this is not the line that I'm working on. You need to get the length of the skirt or the gown you're working on and you need to apply that on your fabric so i'm just going to use this paper as an illustration so you get your fabric you fold it into two the way i've just done on this pattern paper and then you fold it again into a triangular shape so first off you fold it into two and also fold it into a triangular shape like I said, if you're drafting on your fabric, if you're drafting directly on your fabric, this is how you're going to be folding your fabric. So I'm just using this paper as an illustration. So you can see I have my pattern paper there and I folded it into two and I also folded it again into a triangle. So what, when you fold it over into two, you're going to have an open edge and a closed edge. So what you need to do is to grab the open edge of the paper and then bring it to the closed edge to form a triangle so because my pattern paper is not as long as my fabric i'll make use of 18 inches for the length of this illustration and 5 inches or 6 inches thereabouts for the radius so at the tip of the triangle you place your tip at the tip of your triangle you can see the way i'm doing it and we're going to uh, mark 18 inches all around 18 inches for the length of the skirt now before you fold your fabric you need to know the length of your skirt you need to get the length of your skirt and make sure that the fold accommodates the length of your skirt otherwise you have to refold again so you need to get the length of your skirt before you fold so that when you fold you have all of the length in one piece i hope you get so now i use 18 inches for the length of my skirt i just marked that down and i said i was going to use five inches for the radius i am doing that i'm just marking five inch all around the paper now the excess like i said why i used 18 and 5 inches as the radius and the length is because my pattern paper is not as long as what the fabric would look like note also that when you're drafting on your fabric you are going to be adding seam allowance to it and you're going to be adding your zipper allowance as well so you're adding your zipper allowance to the, your waist um, circumference which is 30 for me plus one inch zipper which is 31 so by the time you divide 31 by 3.142 you have your radius so do not forget to add all of these measurements to your pattern so next after i have done this I'm going to be cutting out first i'll be cutting out the length of this pattern before moving up 
to the radius now the radius you can either decide to cut the radius first or you can cut the length of the skirt whichever one you want still fine so this is what after cutting the fabric sorry my pattern this is what a half circle should look like you can see it is half moving on to the sleeve for the sleeve the length of the sleeve i'll be working with is 10 inch i have this big fabric that is big enough for the two pairs so i'll be cutting them together so i folded it into two and i folded it again just so that we cut the two sleeves the same way and they look alike so after folding my fabric into um four parts next we're going to go ahead and start placing all of our markings on the sleeve so for this particular sleeve i'll be doing a little bit of puff at the at the uh, top of the shoulder okay so at the shoulder i'm going to just do a little bit of pleats at the top of the shoulder just to give it a little bit of edge nothing too fancy just a little bit of puff so for that i'll take three inches so from the edge of my sleeve of this fabric i take three inches i mark three inches from the edge to where three inches is i use my pattern master to draw a line across and from that point i'm going to take my cap height if you don't know how to calculate your cap height i have a, a sleeve tutorial you can go watch it i'll leave the link in the description box so i'll place my cap height from that line the first line that i drew i'm going to also draw another line to connect that so the first line is for the sleeve extension for the head for the pleats and then the second line is for my cap height so on that second line on that first line i'm going to be placing the length of my sleeve now for the length of my sleeve i have 10 inches and i have extra one inch at the bottom to hem the sleeve i hope you understand so the reason why we have three lines on this sleeve is the first line is for the extension that i made for the puff at the top of the shoulder and the second one is for the cap height now we're going to place our measurements on the cap height line you're going to be placing half of your armhole circumference mine is um 7.5 so i'll place 7.5 on that line and then i'll come to the bottom of my sleeve for the sleeve round sleeve i have um 10 inches so i'll place five inch on the bottom of my sleeve and next i'm going to be connecting these two points together with my pattern master so I'll connect from the top to the bottom now after that the next thing we'll do is to just draw a curve from the top of the sleeve down to the side just to give it a curve that familiar curve that you are familiar with yeah that curve that you're familiar with on the sleeve so we just um just draw draw it down to the side of the sleeve now after you have done this we are almost ready the sleeve is ready next thing we are going to be adding seam allowance by the side of the sleeve so i added my one inch sewing allowance to the sleeve and if and next up we're just going to cut out the sleeve it's as simple as that it's like cutting a puff sleeve all you need to do is just to bring your cuff down to the side of the sleeve add your sewing allowance to it and cut out the pattern that is all for the sleeve so now i'm just cutting out my sleeve and this is what we have so the sleeve is ready now i have all of my pattern piece i have my bodies if you've not seen a video on how i drafted the basic bodies pattern i'll leave the link in the description box so this is the bodies i'll be attaching to the bottom of the skirt i only um needed from the shoulder to the waist i have my pocket just in case i want to add an insane pocket to this pattern if you've not seen a video on how i drafted the pocket i will also leave that in the description box if not in a video on how i drafted the basic bodice pattern it's beginner friendly i'll also leave that in the description so, so these are all of my patterns and they are ready to be transferred to my fabric okay so i've transferred my pattern on my fabric i cut out the main bodies you can see the main bodies and the 
lining on the knits and also the skirt as well i cut out the bottom of the skirt i have my sleeve and i'll be putting the link for the sleeve if you've not seen a video on how i drafted the basic sleeve short sleeve i'll leave the link in the description box i don't have to show you here you can just go and watch that video and see how i was able to cut the sleeve so now these are all of my pieces i've cut them out i've cut out the back I've cut out the pocket just in case I'll change my mind and I don't put the pockets. You might never know. I cut out the front of the bodies as well. And that is the bottom of the gown. I've just cut it out as well. So now we are going to start um, coupling all of this together. We are going to start joining these pieces together. Now the next thing to do is to transfer all of our dirt on the front bodies and the back bodies to the main fabric and also to the lining so i will take my fabric i'll take my pattern sorry i place it on my fabric note that you're placing this at the wrong side of your fabric so you're going to be taking the dart from the wrong side that is the left side the wrong side of your fabric so i'll do this for the main fabric and also for the lining as well so now after i've drawn the dart on the fabric and the lining on the wrong side of the fabric and also on the wrong side of the lining we'll just take it to the sewing machine and we're going to sew up the lining for the front and the back so now we're going to work on the bottom of the dress so for the bottom of this dress, you need to align the two open edges together. This is a half circle, so you're going to have two open edges. So you need to place them together, right sides facing each other. Now after you've placed them right sides facing each other, what you need to do next is to take out your zipper. So where your zipper is going to be sitting from the top of the skirt that's from the top of the dress to where the zipper is going to be sitting on it's eight inches or nine you can do eight you can do nine so i did eight inches on this uh, fabric so from that eight inches downward we are going to be drawing a straight line now this straight line i'm marking is going to be where i'll be running my stitch on so that is the amount of zipper allowance that i took on this fabric so make sure that you work on exactly the amount of um seam allowance or zipper allowance that you place on your fabric so the line i've just marked i'm going to just secure that with paint and i'll take it to the sewing machine and then i'm going to close that line from where it started to the bottom of the dress here what we have this is what we have i've joined it and we have the zipper open now next i have um joined the shoulder and the sides of the body of those dress i kind of lost that footage but this is what it looks like after i joined the body and the bottom together i joined it at the shoulder and also at the sides and then i joined them together i'll do the same thing for the lining so i joined the main fabric separate and i also joined the fabric um the lining separate so they are going to be two separate um so we are not joining them together so i joined the lining at the shoulder line and also at the sides i also have my bottom for the lining so after i have joined it at the shoulder and at the sides and i've taken my dots i'm going to be joining this lining the same way i joined the main fabric i hope you understand okay so i'll be doing what i did for the main fabric to the lining okay so here guys this is what our lining looks like i've joined the main uh, body to the bottom of the lining this is what it looks like okay so everything has been joined after joining the lower part and the upper part this is what it looks like this is the same thing it will look like when you join your main fabric so now we are going to be attaching the main fabric and the lining together but before that you need to attach your zipper you can see that i attached the zipper i'm going to do a separate video on how to attach a zipper on a dress or a blouse so we are going to be attaching the main fabric and the lining together and to do that we are going to be joining them right sides facing each other so you place the main fabric right side facing the right side of the lining and you're going to be matching shoulder to shoulder 
now when you're matching shoulder to shoulder ensure that the lines are even you don't want to when you're done sewing one of the lines is going the other way and the other one is going the other way so make sure that the lines are even so you need to use your pins to hold the lines um sorry your shoulder together the neckline and also the zipper as well we need to also join the line into the zipper allowance on the main fabric and also on the lining so you can see i'm doing that i'm i'm attaching them all at the same time so i'm sandwiching all of my um parts together i'm holding them down with paint at the zipper side i'm holding it with paint and also at the other side just so that when we take it to the sewing machine we're going to be running one straight long stitch from one side of the zipper to the other side all through to the neckline if you understand so okay now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to make sure to sew down all of the parts that we have held down with our needles our paints and i'll come back and show you guys what the effect looks like okay all right so guys this is what it looks like you see see what i'm saying like the inside this is the inside of my dress so this is what it looks like all of my stitches are all inside everything is so clean so neat after i've joined it at the neckline and also the zipper together i'm just going to close the zipper so that you see what it looks like you can see how neat and clean the dress is at the on the inside okay now what we're going to do next is to work on the neckline of the front and the back now we need to do a top stitch on the neck just so that when you wear your dress the lining isn't poking out of the front of your dress okay so we're going to do a top stitch now you're going to shift all of your seam allowance at the inside towards the lining okay and then we're going to run the top stitch from the back to the front and after that this is what the dress will look like you can see that the lining is sitting nicely at this point you can just give it a good press after we've run a good press on the dress we'll be attaching the sleeve now so this is my sleeve i'll be closing off my sleeve and also i'll be hemming the bottom the sleeve doesn't have a lining to it just because i don't want it to be too bulky so i'll be closing off the sleeve by the side and also doing a hem at the hem of the sleeve and after that this is what we have i've closed off the sleeve and i've done the hem of the sleeve and these are what they look like very beautiful next up i'm going to take the sleeve and we'll be attaching it to the dress so guys i've attached the sleeve and this is the dress this is what it looks like that's the back of the dress and I'll turn it to the right side so you see what the right side looks like this is the right side of the dress looking beautiful clean and fine so I just need to give it a very good press so that all of my seam will relax properly so finally we've gotten to the end of this video the last thing to do is to hem the bottom of the dress and also hem the lining as well so I'll just hem that by one inch and then we are done okay so after we are done hemming the main fabric and the lining i'm going to show you what our dress looks like all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a huge thumbs up like subscribe to my channel and recommend this to your friends until i come your way next time to so have a lovely day good morning afternoon evening wherever you are and always remember to stay positive and